This is the flower of the white plumbago, or the plumbago zeylanica. And it's also quite affectionately known as a tattoo plant. The ladies in this area, primarily the ladies, this is the plant used by ladies. It's a woman's plant. And in, if you talk about traditional medicine, uh, traditionally speaking, not, not, not in modern times, but traditionally speaking, uh, men would, would only know about the male uses of plants and female traditional healers would only know about the female uses of plants. And this is one of the female uses. The root of this particular plant is harvested, it's peeled, and then it's attached uh, in intricate patterns on the skin. And the root bark, when you peel back the root bark, the substance that's on the roots causes the skin to blister. And when the blisters heal, the skin is discolored. And so what you get is a tattoo of scars, basically. And you can do quite intricate patterns on the head, on the back, on the arms, and on the legs um, in this area. And so this was used for this. It's also an incredibly powerful abortive. And although, you know, in modern times, it's a big debate on, on you know, in some countries at least legalizing or, or, or not criminalizing abortion, um, it has been practiced for thousands upon thousands of years in whatever culture. And this particular plant is a very powerful abortive and um, is used, as I said, by the ladies, by, by lady traditional healers for women, woman plant. It was only, I'd been studying ethnobotany for quite some time, probably about two years before I realized that there was the split between the knowledge, traditionally speaking, of uh, women traditional healers versus male traditional healers and it was very interesting when I finally did that to start speaking to my friends who are traditional he healers in the area um, and, uh, and um, of note would be a gentleman called James Mahore who's 94 years old uh, this year and still living on his own with some of his children and his second, uh, fifth wife, he's outlived four wives, can you believe it, in his time on this planet, 94 years old, he's been a traditional healer, he learned his skill from his mother, she learned it from her mother, and he had this concept of female, of the uses for female plants, um, although he was very careful not to dishonor the female traditional healers, he didn't want to step on their toes, so he was, he was reluctant to teach me about the female uses of plants, isn't that interesting? Um, and like I said, I didn't really know anything about that at the time. It was, uh, it was only after some time that I realized he was, being, uh, he, was, he was withholding information specifically to honor the female traditional healers and their uses for plants.